faster styling. Try flexi gel on my hair. So we got the primer and then the setting powder. I need to make the deadline. Good morning, friends. It's gonna be an interesting day and I figured I would vlog just a little bit, not too much, but I started my work day pretty early at eight o'clock. I wanted to get up earlier to work out, but I didn't go to bed until very late. I was editing a vlog, which will be going up today. Today is Tuesday, December 19th, by the way, and I got a last minute commercial audition yesterday. Literally, it was after five and it's due today by five, but I'm working. Also, <laughs> I have a screening tonight that I'm going to with a friend and it's all the way in the Lower East Side, I think. Yeah, it's all the way downtown basically. I have to be there by like 6, 6.15. And the only way I can do that is if I leave my house at 5. Somehow today, I have to film this audition, submit it, sign off by 5. So that's why I started work super early so I can kind of like get ahead of it. I will probably attempt to film it during my lunch break. Thankful that I have a wall that I can use for my full body sleep because this is one of those auditions where they like want you to start in a certain frame and then zoom out and like do all these things and I'm like I don't remember commercial auditions being like that like when we used to have to go in person they never did any of the stuff that they're asking us to do now anyways I'm grateful obviously that I have commercial auditions coming in I just don't like <clears throat> That the turnaround time is so fast. I typically don't vlog these moments because my focus is only on my audition but I just wanted to share a little bit about how it can be sometimes when you are working a full-time job and you're an actor. Like this time of year is typically pretty slow for legit stuff but like commercial stuff is still rolling in and people just trying to get things done before like the holiday break so i'll probably check in a little bit later in the day when it's time for lunch review my lines film it edit it and send it along its way because i need to be out of here by five o'clock so let's see if i can do that i hope so i think i can but you know you know filmed my audition the boy is helping me edit it and i decided that i was going to make it so I am making some turkey meatballs. This is gonna be my lunch. Put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it and call it a day. And then I'm gonna finish off my day in like two hours. Get dressed and head downtown. I think I'm gonna make my deadline. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't get a chance to like fill you guys in. The boy was trying to be helpful and film my audition and his program was not working so then he couldn't edit it so then I had to edit it really quickly. He dropped the files into Dropbox because that's typically how we do things. For whatever reason, Dropbox is not properly uploading them and it's like crunch time now and I'm like, oh my god, I need to make this deadline. Just give me your SD card. He gives me his SD card and for whatever reason, my laptop couldn't read it. When I tell you that we hit so many roadblocks that have never really happened before, I was like, what the hell? Long story short, I was able to edit it and submit it but he typically records audio separately which i hate i know it's better but like for rushed projects in my personal opinion it's just too time consuming to try to line everything up properly i was like dude i'm not using that separate audio just give me the damn file so i can edit this and submit it on time which i was able to and i was so nervous because i was like i need to leave this apartment by five so i could go to the screening which was amazing by the way it was for past lives if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it i had already seen it and i wanted to watch it again anyway and i did didn't know that there was a talkback afterwards which freaking love talkbacks they're so inspiring you get to learn more information about process of making the film casting just like really interesting tidbits that unless you watch a ton of interviews or read articles or anything like that you wouldn't know but also if you have a really good moderator that they, they ask amazing questions and i love the movie i cried at all the same spots i just got my amazon order and i wanted to share with y'all just a couple of things that i got oh a sweet sweat i love sweet sweat i have the band um that goes around the stomach area and for your arms as well don't come for me i've been seeing people talk shit about those of us to wear those sweatbands they work i use um, their sweet sweat stick and so I got a new one because I had gotten one um, a different scent and I couldn't find it and I'm like I just bought that where is it and I was looking for it for like three days I'm like I'm not ordering a new one until I find it because it has to be here couldn't find it I ordered it and tell me why as soon as I ordered this second one I got 
I got. I found the one that I was looking for. So they do sell this in like a tub. It's like this big. It's I think the tub is a little bit cheaper, but it's the one you have to like dig your hand into. And it's not the most pleasant feeling or if you have the original one, the scent is pretty gross. I like this because it's a stick. It's like a deodorant and you just kind of like smooth it onto whatever area and it's just easier and it's less messy. So this is the vanilla um scent highly recommend the bands like i said i love them i use them when i work out and it really does help okay so the other thing um nothing i don't know what it is like i'm on this kick i've been seeing people make flaxseed gel for the longest time like i know it's like an og thing to do for natural hair i've never done it though so i got a hundred percent organic flax seeds because a couple of things i want to try flaxseed gel on my hair i've never used it on my hair but also apparently you can use the gel as a mask on your face so i wanted to try that out and this is just good to add to your smoothies and things like that um oatmeal or whatever the oatmeal that i get has flax seeds in it already so i feel like this is a really great multi-purpose purchase the other thing is workout leggings because I got rid of a couple that just weren't fitting right. You know, you gain weight, you lose weight, you gain. And shit just don't be fitting right. And the other thing is, I do not dry my workout clothes. I like to air dry them. And the boy recently was washing clothes. He's like, don't worry, I'll put it on the perm cycle. I was like, do not dry my workout clothes. He's like, they won't shrink. I'm like, yes, it will. And it damages the material. And did he listen to me? No. So I have a pair of pants that I love that now just, <laughs> they ain't fitting right. So I got a pair of workout leggings. Not a pair. I got a set. I think, huh. I think I got two sets that I wasn't expecting. Did I get a four pack? I do not remember getting a four pack, but it looks like I got four. So I haven't tried this one before, but the ones that I had previously gotten from Amazon like years ago, they don't sell it on Amazon anymore. Supposedly, you have to read the reviews. These are not, these are squat proof. Like you can't see through them, but I don't know. So I'm like going like this. Anyway, <clears throat> there's navy. This is a black hair. I honestly don't know if it's a pack of four, but maybe I just accidentally ordered two. Oh my god, I guess I did select two. Anyways, they're super soft and they're high-waisted. Today when I sign out from work, we're gonna head downtown. We're gonna go to Chelsea. I need to finish my uh, Christmas shopping, so we're gonna be in Chelsea. We're gonna head up, head up. We're gonna hit up Dave's. Marshalls, PC Richard, etc. Just stay in that area. I love being in that area because all the stores I like to go to are within walking distance and it's super easy. And I just put my video live, my Christmas decor shopping, which is like weeks late. I filmed that in November. I had every intention of being early this year and it didn't work out, but that's okay because during my my break, I'm gonna get caught up on everything that I'm gonna do. Day, and I just wanted to share really quickly a few things that I picked up from Marshalls for myself so yesterday was very successful like mentioned we went downtown Chelsea area because everything is there I got the last bit of my Christmas shopping done so I'm super excited we ended up going to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and then we had a really nice dinner afterwards at this Italian restaurant which you guys saw it was so delicious whenever i go to marshall's and i see something that i like it always ends up being something by sincerely jewels and i saw these jeans on the mannequin and i was like oh my god i love them they look like just denim they're kind of like wide leg and they have like that cargo pocket um and like i said they go white at the bottom here's the thing i almost got the size 11 because i know that the sizing runs small but holy crap this is small to the next level so the boy was like get a 13 like to be safe so these are size 13 granted i tried them on after i ate so i had some you know bloating food baby but it was still a little too snug for my liking in the thigh area and i don't know if i should just keep them because you know i'm on this mission to drop a few or if i try to go back and get a bigger size i don't know i'm gonna marinate 
on it for the day. At TJ Maxx, I ended up getting this oil control duo from this brand called Touch and Soul. Never heard of them before, but it is a smooth and pore covering primer, but it also comes with the mineral powder so that you can set it. So we got the primer and then the setting powder. I'm not gonna try this today because I don't have any plans on wearing makeup like i just need to let my skin breathe but i'll probably try this on saturday before i head to long island and then maybe i'll like vlog a little bit of that the other thing that i got oh let me go get it so the other thing that i got for myself is foxy bay it's a limited edition blowout brush and it comes with two hair clips and a hair primer and it was $40. This is what it looks like. It was between this one and another one of their sets that was $59. And it had the same brush in it, but it came with like different attachments. So they had one to like make a curl. They had a diffusing attachment. They had like a round dryer, what they call like a round blow dryer. I've always been interested in these like blowout brushes because I always wanted to know if they're even like worth it. My sister has a Revlon one. She swears by it. I'm not the type of person that's going to spend as much money as like the Dyson set. I think that's ridiculous and you're paying for a brand. But what? Whatever. that's just my personal opinion don't come for me or i even consider like the shark version but the thing is it's like i really don't blow dry my hair that often maybe once a year not even like i've gone three four years without blow drying my hair um up until like maybe three weeks ago so this is like disgusting hair and i did a different way of doing it um i usually blow dry my hair when it's wet the traditional way with a round brush and a blow dryer but this time because i didn't want to use that much heat on my hair and i didn't want to spend like two and a half hours blow drying it i just put my hair in bantu knots and and then at the end of the day, I took it down, did a rough dry with the blow dryer, and then just smoothed out a couple of pieces with the flat iron and left like whatever waves and curls at the bottom. But I still wanted to see if something like this would be easier and faster for the times that I do want to blow dry my hair. I know that I have a very easy option and I have one single brush like one single tool that i can use versus holding a round brush and a blow dryer so we'll see i'll let you guys know the thing the other reason why i didn't get the other one is because like i said i'm i just know the only things i would probably use is the diffuser attachment and and that's really it so if i know i'm not going to use everything i find it to be wasteful and then i'm like ah, i don't feel like spending money on that so i figured i would just try this one if i don't like it i'll give it to my mom or my sisters one of them because they tend to blow dry their hair more often than I do and at least they'll get use out of it but I think this is a great gift so if you guys are still in need of gifting somebody something uh this is only $39 and the one that had all of the attachments was $59 so in my personal opinion I think that's a great deal my other update is I bought um Louisa seasoning which I had been wanting to buy this came pretty quick Oh shit, this is one of those messy packages. There we go. I feel like I'm gonna buy it for my mom. Oh, so cute. Look, a little empanada sticker. They have a recipe for making pastelon. I love my mom's pastelon, it's so freaking good. So I'm gonna save that. And this is what the packaging looks like inside of all the goodies that I got. So, essentials cumin. Y'all, I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow or Friday, okay? I know, it's rough to look at. Adobo, the sasong, and then, of course, gotta get the bay leaves. I'm excited. beautiful friends it is the day after christmas i hope you all had a beautiful christmas i was we're super chill and calm we stayed in it was our first christmas in this apartment so we just wanted we just wanted to be alone and enjoy our space and our time we got out we made breakfast together i'll insert a clip here and then i ended up making um lasagna and some yellow rice wine 
Um, but yeah, super chill. So what I did to compensate for that is I went to Long Island on Saturday, the 23rd to drop off gifts, see my family, see my grandpa, etc. And today I am on a mission to kind of like do things around the house a little bit because this week is typically the week that I start doing at least one or two things every single day to help me prep for the new year. A lot of it is just cleaning and organizing, going to bed a little bit earlier so I can wake up a little bit earlier. I, really I want to get back to my routine that I had a few years ago where I was getting up at like 5, 5, 30. I would go to the gym and I would work out and I had a very slow morning. I just prefer to ease into my day. That's just what I like and I like to make sure that I have at least an hour hour and a half to myself before I have to give myself to other people um, and to work and things like that. So that's typically what I do around this time. So I want to wash my hair and blow dryer using that blow dryer brush I had showed before. I was not intending to wear my hair straight again because I don't blow dry my hair that often but I really want to try that brush out and see how I like it. So I'm finally about to go to the gym. It's like 2.30. Um, I'm leaving later than what I wanted <laughs> because I ended up cleaning but I shared this a bunch of times in older vlogs but I love using the Sweet Sweat Belt. This is a newer one that I got. It's all black and then I use their stick, their workout enhancer. This one is in the tropical scent. It just smells better than the original one. I'll put this mainly in my stomach area and then I wrap the band and then just a ton of sweat. It's just like amazing. I also have this but in the arm version. So sometimes if I'm doing like upper body day or something like that, I'll take this and I'll apply this on my arms and then I wrap the bands around them. But yeah, I just want to show that really quickly. So it opens up on the side like so. I love packages like this. It's really nice. Oh my god, it's bigger than I thought. This sucker is big. So you get your step-by-step, -step, faster styling. I think that's my thing that I'm really looking for is I want to see how fast it can blow dry my hair. From what I can see, it has two settings. You have one for cold air and then there's setting one and setting two. I'm assuming the second setting is a little bit stronger or hotter. And yes, the swivel cord is legit. A swivel cord. I bought things in the past for like 360 degrees. I'm like, no, it doesn't move. And I like that it has this little Velcro here to keep the cord together. I'm only using this small piece right here. This is a little too thick. Like this part is thinner, so holding it up here is easier, but I can feel like after a while my hand will probably hurt from holding it. You definitely grab up here, but it's not that much to grab onto. We'll see, we'll see how long this really takes me. This is just one little piece. I'm gonna continue to blow dry my hair and I'll check back in to see how long it actually takes me. It is 6.36 right now. I'm gonna listen to some Jesse Wu and I'll check back in to let y'all know how long this took me. I have a feeling if it's supposedly quick, I wanna see if we'll do it in like an hour or under, so. See y'all. Finished. My battery's about to die. Hopefully I could get this last bit out. It's 7.37, so it took me an hour and a minute. So it's definitely less than two hours. So I guess that's good. I think it's gonna take a minute for me to get used to that thing. And just like holding it, obviously it's easier than holding a blow dryer and a round blow dryer brush. I think it's okay. I mean, natural kind of wave thing going on at the end. It's great for that. I think it'll be really good for like touching up your hair after the gym or just like any quick touch up if you don't want to use a flat iron 40 something dollars it's not bad and i don't blow dry my hair that often the only thing that i would do after blow drying my hair is maybe apply a little bit of an oil i didn't do that i just wanted to see how long it would take me to actually blow dry it but i think it's not bad for the price and for someone that only blow dries their hair once a year or once every two years or once every three years it is what it is i don't know if you guys have used something like this similar let me know in the comments which one you prefer yeah i'm just curious not that i'm gonna buy it but i just would love to know what people are using out there that they like that isn't a dyson anyways i'm gonna end the vlog here and start editing this video so i can get it up thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll catch you in the next one bye